Welcome. I'm your host, Robert Wilson with Cowboy Wisdom Hypnoacuity, presenting Why is Education a Limitation? I waking up, I waking aware of the dare to grasp and conceive. Education has unrealized limitations because education is many movies of what other people think and they want us to know. And as I opened up to this, I understand. You know, education is great, but education has zero wisdom, intuition, imagination, innovation, and wisdom because it's in a book. It's what other people want us to know, and it's how they want us to act in life. And, you know, if you look at the world today and the world in the 60s, the 60s, you had to have experience to move up to the top. Today, they bring them straight out of college and put them into management, and all they got is great computer skills and a lot of egotistical arrogance. Let's just be honest about this. And they want us to fit into socialized tradition, ancestor, anchored way of living. But I opened up to my sovereign savvy and my wise, genuine genius to entertain my brain to understand and admit, listening rises me out of the many movies of education, thinking, knowing, and knowledge, and creating thoughts from the subconscious mind frozen in time in the many movies. See, we've never been, uh, never been open up to understand. We have a, a panorama movie of now that entertains us in living color. But when you come from education, education is what other people want. And if you look, the world has been frozen in, inside the education because very few people have risen out of it. And I have risen out of it, but now I understand the manipulation of education. So if I can educate you and keep you inside the education, I can manipulate you into anything I desire. That's something I really understand now because they ma manipulate us into thinking that education and business is going to rise us somewhere. Business and education is just a rat-a-tat move, mini movie of what's went on since the beginning of time, actually. But education is a foundation of reading, writing, and arithmetic. Well, they took the writing out, but and reading and arithmetic. But they've gotten fancy. They took the simplicity of, of education and complicated it with their own call college-educated gobbledygook. See, education, when I went to school, the teachers were the boss. And if they had to get, you did something, you got two beatings, one at home and one in the school. And, you know, there is one thing I'm going to say. A lot of kids are understanding how to make a great living and money off the Internet. Give them a kudos. They had to grit, get, and go that we didn't have to do it. But see, cutting the kids down today is wrong. But there is kids that, you know, think like their parents. Because, see, we've been taught the government owes us something. Government owes nobody nothing. Nobody owes you anything. Nobody owes me anything. And the biggest thing I see about education is, is parents. And people today think they're owed a living without putting, get, entertaining a, uh, an outside education. And that's working for a living. And I don't mean working physically. But one thing about work, it energizes experience. And experience is wisdom to expand through the world. You know, I was an electrician for 36 years. The last three years were really, really tough because we had 24 and 25-year-old kids coming out there. They didn't even know what a wrench was hardly. They did, but I mean, but it was really a challenge. And see, that's the thing. You want to blame business and management, but sometimes the workforce has to look themselves in the eye and say, oh, it ain't them. And then, But the, but the workforce also has to look themselves, or the management has to look, themselves in the eye and say, where are we too stuck in the computers, the books, and all the regulations? You go on a job site, there is more um, regulations 
stopping the job than there is stuff to move the the job forward. I've witnessed that the last ten years, and you know they don't they never allow people with experience to be in them positions. They get somebody that's uh, college educated, young, and thinks they got it all knowed up. We witnessed this at a job in Quincy, and man, he was and he was really a nice guy, but he was not qualified, but he wanted to be, he wanted to be a project manager and to be at the end. But, you know, that's the thing. When I first got in the union or in the oil field, the older hands become the foreman and truck pushers and stuff because of experience. That is something that the uh, business and most uh, companies have done is they've kicked the, the experience out the door, getting these young guys thinking they're going to save money. Well, I'm going to tell them all of this straight to their face. That inexperienced youth costs you lots and lots of money. Because the older hands like me, I'd do what I'd go through the motions. I'd give them their, their hour for hour, but I would never go beyond. And when the other guys were, and the experienced people were forming, I give them the extra, and there's and I'm going to tell all the business coaches out there. I've been with, uh, reading your stuff. If that would have been done on one of the jobs I was on, we'd have walked out the door. Because education, and the thing I'm going to tell everybody, the work, the people I worked with, and when we was out working, all they wanted was respect, tools, information, and material. That's all we needed. We didn't need all this fluff of buff. I'll tell you what, college education in the workforce has taken it backwards because they don't have the experience to understand the hands. And that's where I really, really uh, opened up to. You know, we've had to go through some sensitivity training. There's where inexperience. They put a an old rancher out of an, out one place and they brought a Girl, uh, another lady that was really uh, she was very sensitive while well, they put them together while well, anybody knows they didn't go together but they did it so we all got to go spend sensitivity training and when we went into the sensitivity training that lady started telling us well then we asked does management have to go through this and she said no we all left See, that's the thing about management. They want the, the workers to go through it, but they don't want uh, management to go through it. And so I really awaken to understand education is a limitation because they never, they let them go to college, get the education or and wherever, and they put them in management. They don't understand all the increases on, the, on a production floor. And if you watch... Uh, uh, Say the boss, that boss show, it just slipped my mind, but they a lot of times go out on the factory floor and get fired because there is a hand movement, eye coordination that happens, and you can't teach that in a computer. And see how we become too educated and computerized to move forward. That's the whole world. I mean, it's going to be what it is, but where does the the uh, experience come back in to rise it up. And I'm going to tell all people this. Your education is only going to take you so far. Your inspiration, innovation, in, intuition, imagination, uh, and sleek, unique talents will rise you beyond all the education in the world. You can also open all that up with YouTube. YouTube is a 15 to 20-minute college education for free. And it gets you out of the whole humdum of I'm right, the world's wrong, because I'm an educated person. I'm just a ho-po-dunk country boy, and I'm glad I am. Because one thing about the farm that I liked in ranch and the oil field and stuff and the, and the electrical trade, you had to use your own ingenuity to expand out of some things. And, you know, like when we was working cattle, we had 750 head of them. And they all wanted to make a jailbreak. It was understanding which cows to watch for. And you had to watch them and see people watch now 
with their own ideas in hand. And they have it the way they think the outcome should be. Well, everybody's got a different way of innovating their life and doing something. But we've went away from that. The computer says, that was my favorite. The computer and the plan says this. Well, that computer and plan took about a day longer than if you had just done something simple. See, that's the thing. Education doesn't realize the wisdom of the people they're talking to. Education is a box, and, a, and, and it stays there. But the limitations of education are, is I have an education, you don't, so we're going to do it my way. Well, usually that doesn't work out so good. And, and you know, the youth today, the young people that graduate college, they think that computer, that plan, and they got it all knowed up. And they, the only thing they got knowed up is how to create chaos. So when you're thinking you're all educated, put hand, go out and work on a factory floor. Go out and do this and see everything that goes on. Because computer and education can never show you all the little intricacies, the hand movement, the eye movement. And you know the another thing? This country was born with farmers and ranchers and very few people. You know, farming and ranching is a unique thing because it's a college education daily. Because you gotta outguess something, you gotta be aware of something. And there's always the outside uh varmints trying to get in. You have to be intuitively in tune with the landscape when you're a farmer. With a computer, all you gotta do is punch a button, change some things around. That's where the education has really let us down. And I'm not, and I am saying education is important, but education only is a limitation. It's the experiences of life that are going to liberate intuitive, far seeing energy. But the computer can only do what you feed it. And I'm really starting to realize this computer AI and stuff is stealing the innovation of the country. You know, I see this person writes a book. Write your book with AI. AI is artificial intelligence. That makes your book artificial intelligence. Wisdom is the experience. Wisdom, innovation, inspiration, uh, intuition, the images of your dream. That's all natural. The world is living in a fabricated uh, fa fa fallacy that Oh, well, that computer and my plan says this. Well, if you take the word plan out of your life and put outline and take the word right and wrong out of your life and have a, an awakening and accomplishment, take all that educated words out of your life. Get a vocabulary that lets you um, move forward because the world lacks wisdom, insight, and clarity. They have no insight. Look at the world. Everybody's going well, however fast an airplane and jet will go, but yet they're living a long time ago. How have we really never rose out of our ancestors' ways? That's something I've really awakened into. And if I want to control a country, I'm going to educate it with my philosophies. And then I'm going to indoctrinate it and I'm going to get college professors you know, this is cold, but you can do a lot of things in this world in 60 days with just a little bit in the media and education. You can do about anything you want with people. So I liberated me from my indoctrinated education, business enslaving ways. Are going, as I rise out me to rise out of anything because education and business have a third world enslaving mindset when you really step back. And that mindset is controlled by the veil, veiled felons of the world that have depressive delusions sprinkled through their institutionalized education, self-help, personal growth, self-improvement, and indoctrinated mm -hmm. business education. And did you know, realize all that is secondhand knowledge from the past? When I admitted that to me, because education is all secondhand information, it's all coming from the past. Then I realized 
we've been taught the misery of history and the warmongering ways of somebody else to control us. You know, when you spend more money on war than you do on education, maybe there's a trifle bit unsavory about that. See, people are the asset of the world. You are an asset. That's an adventurous, dreaming, savvy, entertaining, trend-setting savant. But see, we've been all taught, oh, this guy, he's got money. This guy's got this. Well, they got that money from you. No matter how rich somebody is, unless they stole it, they got the money from the people. You know, Microsoft, great big corporation, they got their money from you. People never realize, we've been taught business, business, business. Well, business never runs without people. That is something I want you to open up to. And you you know the difference between a wealthy businessman and you? They went through the, uh, the trepidation and all the anxiety of rising out of socialized bullshit. That's basically all it is. So I awakened my heart to understand and admire my sleek, unique talents, intuitive mystique, troublemaker inspiration, panorama imagination, design, sketches, and colors, my dreamer's par paradises of my peaceful, desired lifestyle, moneyed up, accomplished outcomes. On my third eye projector as the universe of my physical world are the movie, str movie screens that streams my dreams for me to treasure, smelling the splendorous seas of stunning success as I feel the freedom within me flow and glow of gratitude. You know, the thing about it, what I really opened up to understand when I wrote all this and, and I did this, People have to rise out of thinking education is the key to life. Education is one part of it. But your own ability and willingness to rise of wisdom, insight, and clarity and understand you're a free-flowing energy of inspiration, intuition, imagination, because it's all flowing from here. You know, education is secondhand indoctrinated information from the from yesterday, and who wrote the curriculum for all the business schools? When you realize who wrote that, you're going to understand the controls today. And see, all these controls have been in our uh, embedded in our subconscious. Many movies of frozen in time limitations. Education is a limitation until you realize. The limitation is a liber liberating invitation, magically intuiting today's adventurous trend setting in imaginative outcomes, naturally strolling through life with the greatest of ease. Because everything in, everything in this world is about sovereignty and liberation. But we've been taught, oh, this is this, this is this. We're stuck in socialized bullshit and indoctrinated education, and a third world enslaving mindset. So when you rise out of education and use it as a guide, nothing more, and listen to your own free-flowing energy of your inspiration, you know, I understand this. Inspiration scares people because nobody's telling you what to do. That's all coming from in here because you got to hearken the inspiration from within to win in the real world. Inspiration will rise you out of yesterday's desperation. But it's all natural. That's the thing we've never been taught. All of our spirit and all that stuff and intuition, imagination, that's all natural mouse. All the education in the world is secondhand information keeping you controlled by an outside source. And somebody tells me that I, I'm... I like it. They say I'm a badass in business. You know what a person in business is, and they say they're in business. They're a robot speaking from a from a file cabinet. That's all they are. And when you start paying attention to a lot of the marketing and all the business people, there's not there's very little difference in any of them. But you can also, when you listen within through your your own talents, you're gonna you're gonna hearken 
the robot inside that file cabinet. It's fun to watch once you rise above it. When you rise to your own talents, your sleek, unique talents, you're going to tantalize audacity, loving every day, naturally trailblazing your own way through life. This all is about you. But why is education a limitation? Because it's something everybody else wants you to know and think. You're it, and when you rise out of that, to rise of your inspiration and understanding instead of know, uh, comprehend instead of learn, wisdom instead of know, revelations instead of thoughts, you you can you you quiet all the old inner mini old worn out mini movies of yesterday. And then you can open up and color your panorama movies of now, energizing your life in living color to enjoy life your way. You are the asset of the world. You have the wisdom, insight, clarity to color the world with your dreams. The, you know, we've always said dreams are foolish. A dream is your natural ability, agility, acumen, and audacity to rise above the socialized uh, torment of society. See, we've been controlled by an outside source since the beginning of time. It's unveiled felons that want us to control because they understand how to control the world. They've been doing it since the beginning of time. So it's time for you to unwind the divine of your prime time, trend-setting imagination, magically expanding through life with the greatest of ease. That's something else I'm going to say. Whenever you do something, get done, say, that was easy. And when, right before you start, you got your everything all laid out in your plans. There's one thing. Is there a better way? And that was easy. Anyway, I am Robert A. Wilson with Cowboy Wisdom HypnoAcuity. My website's mycowboywisdom.com. And my email's robert at mycowboywisdom.com. Something I want to express here, the only one that can make your life hard and a struggle is you. So when you rise out of your struggle, you rise of your streaming, trend-setting, rebellious, ubiquitous gumption, galvanizing life's entertaining events. So with that, I'm going to say good night and enjoy your day.